As a business owner with Cisco Business Equipment, you probably have experience with the web user interface, the UI. The web UI allows you to log into your device for access to several options, including configuration wizards, a navigation pane, drop-down menus, and even a help section. It's a simple, guided way to set up and manage your devices. It's like learning to swim while having your own instructor by your side, helping as needed. Alternatively, the command line interface, CLI, is the traditional way to add or change configurations on some network devices, including Cisco business switches. If you're experienced, CLI can be a powerful tool to get things configured. You don't have to navigate through various web UI screens, which can change or be hard to find. The challenge of using CLI is that you need to know exactly what commands you want to enter. Maybe you were afraid of this mysterious deep end in the past, but are now ready to dip your toe in and begin learning the basics of CLI. Don't worry, no sharks here. I'll get you started. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to access terminal to use the command line interface, CLI, of a Cisco business switch. To use Terminal to access the CLI of the switch, you will first have to download and install a terminal emulator called PuTTY onto your computer. PuTTY is a free and open source terminal emulator that supports Secure Shell, SSH, Telnet, and Remote Login. Be sure to install the correct download for your operating system. In my case, I will be selecting the Windows 64-bit operating system. On the switch, you need to change a few settings so that these terminal connections are allowed. To get into the web user interface of this switch, enter the username and password. The default username and password for both is Cisco in all lowercase letters. In this case, I have entered my personal credentials. Once your credentials are entered, click Login. Now that you're logged into the switch, navigate to Security and then TCP slash UDP services. Here, verify that Telnet and SSH services are enabled. Okay, now that is set, so click Apply. A pop-up success message will appear, which will allow you to save the configuration on the switch permanently. Go to the top of the screen and click on the blinking Save icon. As a next step, launch the PuTTY application and type in the IP address of the switch. Choose SSH as the connection type with the port number of 22 and click open. Since this is the first time I've logged into this switch, a PuTTY security alert pops up. You may see the same. If you do, click yes to add the RSA2 key fingerprint. Next, enter the username and password to gain access to the switch. Now you're ready to enter the commands for the configuration you want to add or change. When you finish the SSH session, type exit. This will stop the SSH session. If you want to connect to the switch via Telnet, the procedure is almost the same. You open PuTTY, enter the IP address of the switch, and then select Telnet as the connection type. The port number will be 23. Click the Open button. Enter the username and password of the switch and press Enter. Now that you're in, do your configurations and enter Exit when you're done. It's as simple as that. Now you know how to use Terminal to connect to your Cisco business switch. Dive in when you're ready. Your future with CLI looks swimming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.